Welcome to this demo. Um, you know that Digipara has a software for the five important departments in the elevator company and in this demo we want to concentrate on um, the sales order processing and product planning um, process. So we will do a sales drawing, we um, modify the project in order processing and finally we do the production planning. So let's have a look how that works. So let's start in the uh, sales department. Let's say your sales rep wants to sell a new elevator and make a quote for that. He has to answer some basic questions. Some basic questions about the type of the lift, about the roping and counterweight location, um, the number of floors. Let's say he has three floors and um, the floor to floor heights and finally he can choose from some predefined um, sheet templates that define the layout of the drawing. So let's let's have a look what we have here. So we have some assembly drawing, some 3D view, and here on the right side you see uh, a 3D view of your um, of your elevator. You can view in this uh, into this elevator have a 3D view of of your model. So this can help you to easily illustrate this to your to your clients, and you have a very quick. Uh, uh, builders drawing and installation drawing. So let's say your client wants to have a different door then you can easily choose the landing door and under properties you get the properties of this landing door and you can choose a different door. Let's say we choose a door from um, um, Sematic, a four panel central opening door with framed glass and a width of 900 millimeters. Choose OK and also choose the suitable car door and uh, yeah then we are done so we can very easily bring this door in in place and um, there are two major operations that you can do you can exchange components as we did and you can change dimensions so let's say we have a car depth of 1600 and a car width of 1400 you see we can easily uh, make this uh, change and this is reflected in all sections so it's not just this plan view it's on all drawings it's updated uh, accordingly um, finally we, we can also have a look at the cabin approval drawing so we go therefore we go to the first to the cabin configurator we choose a car design this which are predefined car design and in this case I want to choose the Mary cabin components. This is some uh, project we did for, for a customer for, of us and um, yeah it's a pre-configured um, cabin. So let's have a look at the car operating panel. The car operating panel is on the right side at this point and I want to choose a different car operating panel. I choose uh, um, full cabin height uh, car operating panel and can then move this cab car operating panel in the center of the ca of the car or yeah so let's move it in the center we can also um, have a look at the other walls let's have a look at the left wall we can easily let's say disable the mirrors if we if we want that and um, yeah on the right wall we can change the default width of the single panels. Let's choose uh, two to two just to remind that and then you see we have more than uh, four items and uh, yeah so you can easily use that to to arrange your your cabin design. Once your salesperson and once your client is happy with the design um, we can save that. So let's save that as um, sales drawing and um, you can easily export that um, as a PDF for instance and we can print that and that's that brings up um, Adobe and uh, then you have the different drawings here immediately available 
and can easily send this to your client as a quotation. So in five minutes you can create these uh, quotation drawings. So let's say you have uh, received an order for that project. Then the next step is that your engineering department can use this project from the sales department to load this project into Autodesk Inventor. And this is simply done by importing the project. So we can import the project here, the sales drawing, uh, into Autodesk Inventor and call this uh, engineering. Engineering. It's not the drawing, and so let's call it engineering project. Um, we save that. And now the software asks us whether we want to perform a full update. I choose yes. And this will now take um, a few minutes, uh, two to three minutes, which is uh, shortened here in this demo. So, DigiParalift Designer now has created this project in Inventor. Here on the right bottom you see 504, this number, which is uh, the number of files Lift Designer has created for your engineering team. Uh, let's disable the, the, the shaft uh, material, then you see the model of the, of the lift here. And um, let's say your uh, engineering department is not uh, satisfied with all products that your sales team selected. Let's say the sales team has not concentrated on the type of the counterweight. So what we can do is we can select the counterweight and then we see here on the right side the same property that we saw in Lift Designer before. So we can, even at this point, we can now exchange a component. So let's choose another component you might have uh, designed yourself before. Um, this is a project for another client we did as a sample and um, yeah, so I have now selected this counterweight from uh, Hübschmann Elevator Company in Germany and the only thing I need to do is I, I have to click on create on update all and what happens now is that Lift Designer replaces this uh, simplified geometry by the full-fledged um, inventor geometry this um, counterweight is designed off. So you see what happens now. Um, Autodesk Inventor uh, now has this um, full-fledged um, um, counterweight here inside with all the materials, all the de details and so on. And um, what we can do now is we can, for instance, um, change the height of this counterweight. So we can select that, choose a different height, let's say 3,500. 3,200. Probably doesn't make sense in this case, but just for you to illustrate what happens. Uh, once we have made the change, we click on Update All, and DigiPara Lift Designer keeps track on all parameters and all uh, dimensions, and um, due to this um, update process, the geometry on the drawing in your project uh, is updated. So your engineering uh, department never has to um, concentrate on these parameters. All parameters are available and uh, directly uh, accessible. So what you see here is that um, we have a counterweight based on different properties. So we can go to uh, find a browser and then we see here this is a typical inventor model that has been typically designed uh, as you know from um, Autodesk Inventor. And beside that, we also have uh, now, we not just have this uh, counterweight in place with the right dimensions, we also have the corresponding drawings available. So let's uh, have a look here uh, in this uh, folder. So this is the project folder for this counterweight, for this concrete engineering project. And you see that for all parts of this uh, counterweight, we have uh, the drawings available. So uh, let's uh, let's see this uh, vertical vertical beam. You see there is this red flag saying that, that an update is required. So I, I have to go back to this engineering, and I click on this uh, update button again. This is some uh, how to say inventor optimization that it doesn't update automatically all drawings uh, for performance reasons. So I have to click this uh, button once, 
and now I go back to this IDV drawing. Now the, the red item has disappeared and you see that the height of this uh, this uh, vertical uh, element now has the correct um, dimension. So all drawings for your project are immediately um, available in um, for for your for your project. So once you have received the project from a sales department, you load it into an engineering project, you can immediately get all drawings of your whole manufacturing process. Same is here in this case for the wall panels and uh, also the ceiling. And in this example we did some uh, a good um, example that shows that um, the, the holes of the car ceiling are aligned properly with the uh, holes of the wall panels even that is easily possible to to accomplish so let's say we are now complete so we can go n go now into manufacturing and therefore we only have to go to this uh, export tool from digipara lift designer we choose export and what what happens now is that the software goes through all um, sheet metal parts and for all these sheet metal parts it generates a DXF file for you so uh, once once we have that you see that is completed we have a list of uh, sheet metal parts we have the ceiling we have the f the wall elements with the different width data and remember from the sales drawing that the two to two dimension uh, we have four items of this uh, size and we can have a look at that so we can open that and we get, get a DXF file for that so you can immediately put that into uh, manufacturing and um, also the parts for this uh, uh, counterweight uh, the counterweight items are here so we have the different different items so let's have a look at one of that so let's have a look at this part here so this is one of your manufacturing parts for this counterweight so thank you very much for your time for more information please visit our website digipara.com or call our sales team at sales at digipara.com